In this video, what I'm going to be taking a look at is dative covalent bonding. Dative covalent bonding. Dative covalent bonding is also sometimes called um, coordinate coordinate bonding. Coordinate bonding. Well, they're both the same thing, more or less. I don't know if this, this is a dash here. I just, uh, yeah, anyway. So what this basically is, is a bond which is formed when a lone pair of electrons has been donated to a... Um, by where both lone pairs of electrons in the covalent bond formed uh, are, are donated by one of the species taking part. So one of the atoms in that bond is, has donated both electrons. And some common examples of this is the proton acceptance for, of ammonia to form an ammonium ion and the proton acceptance of uh, a H plus ion by H2O to form a h 3 plus ion. And I'll, I'll represent, I'll, I'll draw up what these would look like. So when, when NH3 uh, is exposed to acids, so NH3, and that's basically a nitrogen bonded to a hydrogen bonded to a hydrogen bonded to a hydrogen and nit the nitrogen in the middle has lo a lone pair of electrons when this is um, in the presence of uh, acidic conditions so there's H plus ions um, in, 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 in a certain concentration in that, in that substance uh, what happens is this NH3 molecule will accept a proton and the way it accepts the proton is by donating a lone pair of electrons. So what will happen is, uh, my last video, uh, what would happen is, uh, if I represent this nitrogen with a, uh, with a circle, what will happen is the H plus ion will come along and it will actually ac accept it, the, 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 the electrons will be donated to the H plus ion and when this happens the nitrogen doesn't actually let go of them but what it, it's, it basically does is like it's basically saying to the hydrogen um, come over here and we'll share now the reason why this happens is because hydrogen ions are really positive so H plus ions are really really positive H plus H plus they're really really positive and the lone pair of electrons which you can see here are quite negative so if you remember from ionic bonding they're caused by uh, the attraction between oppositely charged ions in this case what happens is this positively charged ion is attracted to the negative uh, lone pair of electrons which you can see here and so when 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 um, they come together they form a uh, they form a covalent bond just like these other covalent bonds and so there's a specific notation we use sometimes uh, to represent this kind of bonding and we use um, lines and we use arrows so with this NH3 molecule forming the NH4 what we would do to represent it is we'd have the nitrogen uh, we'd use square brackets just like we use in ionic bonding and we'd have it the regular bonds so the regular bonds here and then we'd actually have an arrow pointing to the fourth hydrogen and the reason why we have that arrow there is to represent that both of the electrons in that bond has come from the nitrogen uh, so that means that it is a dative covalent bond or a uh, coordinate bond and this is how we represent it and we wouldn't make sure you don't if you were writing this you won't don't forget the positive charge because this hydrogen has added to the positive charge of this particular molecule because uh, it was just a, a, a proton and um, there's also another kind of notation we can use with this is the dot and, we can use the dot and cross dots and cross notation so what we can do is represent I'll go, I'm going to use a, a blue and a blue and a blue and red for this so we have the nitrogen we have the hydrogens so hydrogen hydrogen 
hydrogen hydrogen and still with the square brackets and the positive symbol here what we have is the um, if I represent the uh, nitrogen's electrons with a, a blue dot so a blue dot blue dot blue dot and um, yeah blue dot and in one of these particular bonds what we have is that nitrogen has donated both electrons as you remember from up here so in one of these bonds, what we'll have is two blue dots from the which represents that both of them are from the nitrogen. And so for the crosses, which are the hydrogen's electrons, which I'll draw as red crosses, red X's. So X, X, X. As you can see, only three of these electrons have come from the hydrogens. Um, in this one, is this is the dative covalent bond. So this, this notation is basically showing us that this is the dative covalent bond. Now, a more common example, one that you'd see if you have any sort of aqueous acid. What happens in acids is that although when we um, although we usually say that it has dissociated and there's a concentration of hydrogen ions now in the solution, what there actually is a concentration of is H3O plus ions. And the reason why the reason why this forms is the same reason why uh, NH4 forms because this is this this lone pair of electrons how it was uh, here these are quite negative and the H plus ion is positive and so the H plus is attracted strongly attracted to the negative uh, lone pair so if I was to draw a diagram of what oxy the H2 would look like so in as an equation what it would look like is that H2 O H O. my pen seems to be acting strange h2o plus h plus whoa whoa why is it i don't know why it's acting strange let me just rub this out so h2 h h2o would react with the h plus and that would produce h3o plus And if I was to draw now the actual what what if it, if uh, a representation with the molecules, we would have the H. We will have well we would have the oxygen. And oxygen has two lone pairs of electrons, uh, not just one. But the form, if it was to accept two protons, it'd be extremely extremely unstable. So it tends not to form that. So we'd have um. Hydrogen. and um, the lone pair of electrons so we'd have lone pair lone pair lone pair lone pair and sometimes if I was to represent this um, if I was to represent it just just in a way that you can more more easily see where the reaction is happening so if I was to draw the hydrogen here and height here uh, like this And then lone pairs of electrons here and here. I can more easily represent what's actually happening, like like what from up there. And then what's happening is that the hydrogen is uh, is coming and reacting. So this hydrogen this hydrogen comes and reacts, and these electrons are donated to this proton or hydrogen ion. And they form the H3O plus. So this hydrogen now comes and becomes a part of that molecule. And then we have the lone pairs and the hydrogen. As you can, as you, as you may have noticed, I'm not actually drawing the the lone the elect shared pairs of electrons here since um you know what they would look like like they would look basically like 
like that how they are up there so now this hydrogen has been uh, accepted and it's formed a uh, H3O plus so we would represent this in square brackets um, probably with uh, dots and crosses but I won't draw that in <coughs> and with a plus so this is the dative covalent bond which is this is the dative covalent bond which has been formed and so yeah that's basically what how dative covalent bonding works <coughs>